Today we're going to work with 2.5D in the parent-child tool. Once you open After Effects, we'll double click in the project panel and we will import the assets from D2L. Next we will create a comp and we will call it slot machine your name. We want it to be 1080p. We want it to be um, five seconds long. And when you open it up, we'll have this single view, but we want to open up double view. And so in the right side view, we want it to say active camera. And we'll click in the left side, and we want to set that to left. All right. We'll get that comp out of our assets. Now we will grab all of our assets, and we'll drag them into the uh, a comp. And we want our spade on top because we're going to set all of our uh, other sizes to it. In this comp, I'm going to hit Command A and that'll select all my layers. I'll hit S for scale. And now I'm just going to resize the cherry so that it roughly fits. I'm going to resize the banana so that it kind of falls width into the width. And we will resize the seven to hit the top and bottom roughly. Okay, I'm going to hit Command A again, and I'm going to make them all 2.5D. And take a look over here when I do that. You'll now see that in the left view, everything has been set to scene from the left, and so it looks very flat to us. Now, with all of these guys still chosen, we will hit P, and we will set our parameter, our Z parameter, to minus 750. And that will push everything to the right. And... Let's hit scale again and collectively we'll just kind of shrink them all down a little bit to better fit our comp. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a null object that we will use to rotate these uh, assets. I'm going to hit return and we're going to call it master rotation. And we need to make it 2.5D as well. And we'll hit Command-A to select them all. And we will hit R to open up rotation. All right. So the first one that we're going to do is the spade. And with the X, ro X rotation parameter at 0, we will just parent it to our master. Now on the master rotation, we will set our X rotation to 90. And we will parent our cherry to it. And you'll see that when we did the rotation, that the spade is now rotated to the bottom and our cherry is in front. So our cherry is now parented. And now we will set our parameter to 180. And now we've spun the uh, spade here, the, the uh, cherry here, and now the banana is in front. And actually our banana is pretty small, so let's change the scale on our banana. That's better. And so with, with it set at 180, we will now parent our banana to master rotation. And now we will uh, set our, Z, our X rotation to 270. And we will parent the 7 to it. All right, now we just need to set a keyframe for the rotation. So at the beginning, uh, we'll set our keyframe at zero, and then we'll go to the end of the comp, and we'll set our end keyframe at three rotations. And when we scrub through the comp, you'll see on the left side how it rotates from the left view, and we'll see it on the active camera how it rotates on the right view. Now, it's spinning like a slot machine, but in a slot machine you don't see the uh, objects behind it. And so we will solve that problem by creating a white solid. We'll drag it to the bottom of the comp and we'll make it 2.5D. And now we'll see that it's sitting right here in the middle. This is the front of the comp. This is the back of the comp. And as we spin, 
we see that we don't see anything behind it now. All right. So next thing that we want to do is make sure that no nothing is uh, selected in our comp and we are going to create a rounded rectangle layer shape and I'm going to hold the shift button down so it remains a true square and I'm going to just lay that out now we'll twirl down the parameters and what we want is our rectangle path to be set at 820 and we'll hit the transform properties and we will zero that out so that it's centered And then we want, um, we don't want a fill stroke, so if, if that's on, we'll turn it off. We want our stroke to be black. And we will set our uh, stroke width to 50. And we'll call that rectangle. And then we will add a layer style to it. We'll um, do bevel and emboss. And let's make it a little, the, the emboss a little larger. Okay. And the size. Make it a little larger. Okay. So set that at about 15. Okay, so if we scroll through it now, we can still see it happening on the top and the bottom. And so we'll solve that problem by pre-composing. What we'll do is we will pick every layer except for the frame layer. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell it to pre-compose. And we'll just call that comp SM for slot machine. And What we will then do is we will create a, with, with that uh, comp picked, we will now create a mask and cut out the rest of our white. Okay. And now we will select both these layers and we will pre-compose it and we will call it SM1 and I'm going to select SM1 up here and I'm going to hit command D and duplicate it twice and we'll take SM2 and 3 and we'll drag them in to our comp and then what we will do is we will take S will take the positions going to hit command A positions and we will slide comp one all the way to the left of our frame so it just and comp three will set there and now we will uh, select them all with command A I'm going to hit S and I'm going to scale them down If we hit pre-comp, we'll see that uh, they're all kind of working like a slot machine, only slot machines don't line up perfectly like that. And so what we'll do is we'll hit Command A, and we're going to go layer, time, enable time remapping. And what we're going to do is that we want to scale, we want to offset our comps a little bit and so I'm going to drag uh, this this one to the left until we get our banana roughly in the center actually let's go to the beginning and we will slide this so our cherry is roughly in the center and we'll slide the bottom one 
until the banana is roughly in the center. And then basically about frame two, that's where we want to, uh, the, uh, for our top layer, our, our cherry is centered right there. And so we will hit a hold keyframe to make that stay. We'll scroll down another 15 seconds. And I like where that seven is falling. So we'll keyframe that and make it hold. And then we will do the same to the banana. And we'll make our comp four seconds long and we'll take a look at it. And we will ease ease them and toggle hold. Now they'll land a little softer. All right. So now all we have to do is create a background. Let's uh, let's. Wait till we get our ch a cherry showing, and we'll go layer new solid, and we'll take our color picker and we'll make it the color of our cherry, and we'll drag that to the bottom. And now you can render this and post it to D2L.